Do you remember the ice bucket challenge? It helped raise millions of dollars for ALS and to fund research that's giving scientists the first hope they've had in finding a cure. Well, today, students, faculty, and staff at Steinbrenner High School came together to raise money for a teacher there with the debilitating illness. News Channel 8's Jeff Patterson joins us now live at the school to tell us about this very important effort. Yeah, good evening, Jen. Some very, very emotional moments here this afternoon at Steinbrenner High School. You know, they had a fun kickball game, all for a beloved teacher who's having a very tough time. He rolled out the first pitch in a kickball game for fun and for a cause. His cause. Teacher Mike Leist is suffering from ALS, perhaps better known as Lou Gehrig's disease. Feeling the love and the support coming from our school community has just been overwhelming, tremendous. I, I, I don't have words to describe it. Liz Leist is also a teacher here. The funds raised by the school will go to offset the family's rapidly rising medical costs. We just wish that hope would come really soon. <laughs> so with ALS, you're always working against a timeline. Um, the average life expectancy with ALS is two to five years. ALS has already slightly slurred his speech, but Mike Lice told me how much this day means to him. It's amazing. It's humbling. And um, I'm very grateful that we are where we are. Remember the ice bucket challenge? The quirky viral fundraiser, it raised millions of dollars for ALS research and raised hope. In the last two years, thanks to the Ice Bucket Challenge, three new genes have been discovered. There is also a new drug that is in clinical trials right now and another that is set to be in cl clinical trials for next year. At Steinbrenner, they're just hoping to raise a few thousand dollars for Mr. Leist. One student is selling keys he made on a 3D printer with his favorite teacher's name on it. Because I really like Mr. Leist. I had him last year for U.S. History, and history is my favorite subject, so that already made it a good class. But like, just the way like he engages with people. Yeah, we heard a lot of students say today how much they really love Mr. Leist. You know, you might have heard his wife say the average life, life expectancy for somebody with Lou Gehrig's disease is just three to five years. So, Jen, they are really hoping for new medication or even a cure very soon. It is a devastating disease, to say the least. What can people do to help? Well, you could certainly call uh, Steinbrenner High School here. Mr. Leist uh, could use the help. Or you can call the ALS Association of Florida, donate to them. And you don't even have to pour ice over your head to donate. You can just give cash. Jeff Patterson reporting live for us tonight. Thank you, Jeff.